All right, and welcome to my programming channel. My name is Ryan, and today we'll be working on our very first Java program. And we'll actually be able to get a computer to do something that we tell it to do. So it's pretty cool in that regard. All right, well, let's jump right into how to do this. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up a program called Eclipse. This is the program that I'll be using to write all these Java programs. Uh, just check out the links on screen for the previous video and I'll show you how to where to find it and how to download it. It's free and pretty easy but if you have any sort of problems go ahead and check the link on screen. Okay so now that Eclipse is open we're first going to want to click File, New, and Java Project. Now if it doesn't say Java Project and when you first download Eclipse it won't say Java project, it'll say JPA project. And we don't want that, we want Java project. So to change that, just go to Window, and then Open Perspective, and then if you're not on Java, it will say Java in here. And just go ahead and click that, and then you'll be able to go File, New, and Java project. Okay, so in this project, we're gonna wanna get the computer to display a simple message. And now in this message, we just want it to say, hello world. And so that's what we'll call our project. We'll call it hello world. All right, go ahead and click finish. Over here on the left, you're going to want to click, right click it, and then go new, and then class. Okay, so we're just going to want to call the class hello world again. Now go ahead and click the first checkbox and then just go ahead and leave the other checkboxes checked or unchecked as they were by default. I'll show you what the first checkbox, do, checkbox does in just a second. Okay, so once you have all that, go ahead and click finish again. Now here's what our program consists of so far. Now I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in. Okay. So public class hello world, that's what we called it. And then this is what that first checkbox did. It just automatically gave us this. If, it, if you didn't check it, you would have to type this in yourself, but pretty handy checkbox. Every program needs a main to run. So that's why um, that's there, and that's why every program needs it. Okay, time to display our message. So the steps that we'll have to take to do that write system dot out dot print parenthesis quotation marks and then we can write our message hello world and then end it with another quotation mark and then this statement is finished off with a semicolon at the end as you can see right there go ahead and save it and then you can click the little play button up here and then as you can see in the console down here it displays hello world okay so what happens if we were to copy this and then make another line of it and then save it and then run it you would think that it would put the hello worlds above and below each other but unfortunately that's not the case they're just side by side. A way to fix this is to write a print ln statement. ln short for line. So put a print ln statement and then this will put the hello worlds above and below each other. As you can see just like that. Alright guys well that was your very first Java program. Good job and keep on programming.